Hello everybody. We are starting our new playthrough uh, of a new game series. Um, we are going for a corpse pops party. And it's a game I've always wanted to play. It was on the PSP originally. It was on PC as well, I'm pretty sure. It might have been on the... Not this one I want. Uh, or anything. Um, but this is a game I've always wanted to play, essentially. Um, I never had the chance to, because I didn't have a PSP when this game came out. and It's, it's one of those survival horror game things that's kind of got this style to it that's so unique, you know? So, um, I want to play for this. I am, I have been reminded that I will be continuing my um, Ace Attorney Chronicles collection at some point. I don't know when, it's just when my voice, I have my voice on rest for a while because I was reading for hours on end in voice acting and it really killed my throat. So, I've decided, like, I decided to give it a break for a bit. Um, I'm going to continue that back up in at least November, or no, not even November, to be honest, I think January. So, we'll start. Corpse Party, now. If I'm crap with it, yeah, I, I might be crap with it because I'm new. I don't know what I'm doing, so... I'll start. Okay. If I do have to do any voice acting, I'll try to. Oh, it's not Japanese language. I like Dumbo. Right, view the chapter opening. Yeah. Yes, I want to see what's on it. Right. Sachi's. Sachi is my pride. I enjoy. Oh, it tells you how long you're playing for as well. So, I didn't get to read that. <laughs> I couldn't make it out. I don't. F oh, fucking hell. I don't think Jane. But I still love her with all my heart. Oh, lovely. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. Running down the stairs, the kind of teacher lost her footing. She foot tumbled and she fell, and she died. You've all heard the stories, no? For Kasaga Academy was built here. There was another school on this property. I will be reading over the Japanese just because I don't think anybody will understand it. Obviously, you can read it yourself, but I, I like to do a bit of stuff in. It's so. Uh, Heavenly Host Elementary School, it was called. Such a horrible thing to happen. The principal was completely devastated. He cared for the school almost as if it were his own children, child, you see. The one thing led Renova after this incident, and ultimately, a decision was reached. The school was to be shut down. The principal was so grief stricken, oh sorry, so stricken with grief over losing his precious child that on the day of its closure, he climbed up to its roof and threw himself to the, his death. Also, the story goes. But yeah, I remember that happening. Fort Heavenly Horse was cursed. You see, this was just the latest of many deaths to occur there. That's why it was torn down. However, they say the teacher who fell down the stairs still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after our school days come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds. Just after 7 o'clock. I want to quit. No, I don't exit. No. Just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears. Always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock. You're here. On the blackness. Followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. 
as her pale white face cuts through the stillness. Her soft voice always echoes across the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... I don't need to do that one. Don't need that do that either. It's a blackout? The show should pull yourself together. Don't scare us like that. But it was scary. I don't like this. This shouldn't be happen happening. Not bad, Shinazaki. You had me going there for a minute. It wasn't me. I've been standing right there here the whole time. This is a real blackout. Oh. Right. Does anyone else hear that? Sounds like, sounds like it's coming from the music room. Knock up. No way. First the blackout, and now the door. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself, and get off me. That's my chest. Oh, he's touching a chest. <laughs> oh, so sorry, sorry. I couldn't see where I was grabbing. Yes, you could. You knew what you grabbed. That <laughs> broke. Mayu, Ayumi, so uh, and Naomi. I told you it was a bad idea to stay here. Oh, that fish. I told you it was a bad idea to stay here, so late and tell the ghost stories. Hey Satoshi, aren't you gonna get the go and get the door? What? The girls are all trembling in fear. Doesn't it just break your heart to see them all like that? So. so why don't you get the door? Well, it appears that it, well, it doesn't break my heart. That's cold, man. Oh, look at this. I like the pixels. I'm going to use the D-pad for this because as much as I like the, con the stick, this game's that suit the stick and this game's that suit the touchpad more. And this one more touchpad ones. Get the door. Anyone still here? Go on, go on, children. He shit his pants. <laughs> Did I scare you? Is it Yui? She got a prank to him. I had teach. Masaki. Hey! All right, prank. I call that a rousing success. Man, it's been hard. What timing couldn't have been more perfect? <laughs> I wasn't a student here too long ago myself, so when it comes to the seven wonders of Kisagari High, I'm pretty well versed. <laughs> Satoshi. Hey, Satoshi. <laughs> I love that voice actually, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought Shig's reaction was priceless, but yours was on a whole different level than M Mochida. Mochi Mochida says uh, Satoshi. Oh, is Shigi. Ah, yes, I remember these guys. I used to watch play first of those games, so... I think I watched PewDiePie and there's another channel I watched, but I can't remember. What is Shigi? It was pretty impressive, I could never hope to compete with that. Machida's always got the best reactions. I just love it when my scares are so thoroughly effective. It's so simply delicious. Oh, you silty bitch. Salty, salty. <sighs> hmm. Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak, anyway? <laughs> Sorry about that, Machida. But I can't deny your reaction was pretty amusing. Ugh. 
Or prank inside, though. I'm, I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Yeah. It's his sister. Hmm. Why are you standing around? Go out here, therefore. Come on in. He's right here. Hello, everybody. Yuka. Yuka. What are you doing here? Yeah, Oni chan means for big brother, yes. Big brother. Yeah. Seems Machida forgot his umbrella this morning, so a little Yuka here has come all this way to deliver it. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. Hehe, <laughs> can't do that. Is she from the junior high? Yes. Nice to meet you, my brother's always... My brother's always like this, yeah. Always really kind, I mean. I'm just gonna stop doing voices. Ugh, oh, man. I can't do voice that anymore, so I can't do voice. I had no idea you were such a cute, you had a cute little sister, Satoshi. Yes, I just called you that Um, really? I never told you? You never said a word. They sure do love your big brother, don't ya? I should do. Oh, oh. Hmm. Seems like she's met Kishinem before. Hey, Naomi, looks like you got yourself a rival, eh? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I swear this mouth of yours says the craziest things. Weird sound effects. Alright everybody, it's past seven. Isn't it? Isn't it? About time you got ready to head home. Oh. That's where veins go to sort of essentially. Oh. Do we have to? Shouldn't we clean up at all? The red bean cafe stuff cafe stuff first. It'd be a shame at least so soon. Yeah, with the classroom like this. Hang on, that's big. Yeah, with the classroom like this, it almost seems like we could hold another culture festival tomorrow. Isn't that what you were supposed to be doing here in the first place? You promised me this room would be ready to go by the time I got here, as I recall. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's getting late. How about you leave it for now and come in early tomorrow? Hi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And then... This is the motto. I know how to say it, goodbye. But I wish you the best of luck at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. My own. Thanks. I'm going to stay around here without you, excuse me. I know you're Susumoto. You'll make uh, new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. It's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure we come visit. Yeah, totally. Don't look so glum. We'll see you again real soon. We're friends forever after all. You guys. Brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Thank you so much, all of you. I'm so grateful to have you as friends. You'll have a special place in my heart, and you always will. He's pretty cool. Sniffle. <laughs> yeah, that's so fun. What's this, man? Take out there. I'm not doing a fucking fair crime, I suppose, you know. I'll just be watching over from you, 
overview from above. Mm, yeah. Seiko? 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 My spirit will guide your path. Mm. Foreshadowing. Mayu, come on. Let's see that smile of yours. So how we get everybody, we get everybody in the shop? Oh yeah, I totally want in. Oh, this is what caused the problem. I remember. Me too. <laughs> Me three. Me four. <laughs> and teacher as well. Big brother. Mm -hmm. Your friends are really great, you know. They sure are. The photograph. <laughs> gimme, gimme. I want to see. Send it to my phone, would you, Morishige? Of course, I'll send it to all of you right now. Teach um, before we head back. There's something I'd like to do with everyone. Here we go. Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try it? It's called Sachiko Ever After. Who's Sachiko? On what? Who's Sachiko and what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. This is well, it's a charm I found on the internet. Ugh, of you found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be f together forever. Or we'll always be friends. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Oh, it's a charm? Yep, a mystical charm. Awesome, I totally want to do it. No, no. I think it's Shin Shinazaki had her at charm. That girl's totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Teacher looks concerned. I guess it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Hi! Yeah. Please, yeah, you will be. <laughs> Murashige, you too? Uh, yes. I can't full screen it, so... Alright, ready to go. Everybody gather in a circle around this paper, Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we beg of you. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, repeat it nine times. Don't worry, if you flub it a little, just make sure you don't stop. Part way through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less. All the charm will fail. Uh, Shinozaki? Hmm? What uh, happens if it fails exactly? This whole paper doll seems like a sketchy to me. Mm. Failure is not an option. Just give it all you've got. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's get started. Everybody, remember the charm. Sachiko, we beg of you. Nine times. Ready? Begin. Everybody, set it in advance, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we don't get on with it, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody reach towards the paper doll and grab a hold of it any way you can. Uh, got it? I think. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails in if you have to, just don't let go. We're going to pull it on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three.
Yeah. Nice to do that, everybody. Now let's just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm. So the doll scrap has some sort of meaning to it then. Yep. As long as we have a little piece of Sachiko with us. We'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shinzaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider, uh, considering, con consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. The earthquake. Yeah. An earthquake? <laughs> Ooh. Nice to see Like, what the hell? This is like, holy crap, big. Yuka, Yuka, take my hand. Everyone stay calm. Get into your desks until it passes. Under the desks, now! This can't be happening. Is this for real? No clops underneath them. Oh god, I'm falling. The river. Satoshi. Satoshi. No, no, Naomi. Oh, a new building. <sighs> One of the best JRPGs, in my opinion. But there you go. Post loading. I've been doing that for fucking 10 minutes, but you know. 20 minutes, actually. Ugh. Ouch. Oh my leg. Yeah. I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprint. Huh. Wait. I'm not my, on my home, am I? It can't be. <sighs> just put the dig smile loading. Oh, Naomi. It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? What's going on? What the hell is this place? Right, I don't want to exit no, but I want to save. I can't remember, I don't know how to save. There you go. Temp save, create a temporary save data, yes. Inventory. Loose ball lying on the ground, though scratched and banged up, it still seems to be fully intact and not much worse for wear. Seiko? Seiko! Seiko! Seiko? Seiko? 
This isn't good. Gotta go around. So remember, I gotta take a shoot out again, but. Oh, lovely. <coughs> Oof, that really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Is that a ladder? Heavenly Post. First student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Host School seem to be disappearing, as now first student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmates testified that fifth grader was on her way home from school, but she got separated from her friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assisted countless investigators to the case in hopes of a speed resolution. However, ten days have already passed since the first disappearance, giving parents and classmates an ample cause of concern. That's some sort of official looking print I'm pinned the wall. What time for that now? I've got to check out Seiko. Seiko! Seiko! Seiko? Seiko? I don't, I don't need to read it if um, they'll do the names, so. See? Thank goodness, she's still breathing. Seiko! Seiko! Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up. Yeah. Huh? Naomi, Naomi, what's up? Naomi, what's up, me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Uh, where? Where, where are we? What's going on? What? That's what I'd like to know. That damn door! Shoot that Yumi. What's she doing? Oh, it ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. It's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm saying. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't it? Desks. Desks. Seem more unusually small to you, though. Like an elementary school? An elementary school? It can't be, can it? <laughs> what is it? Print out on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host. Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kasaku Academy? Kesar, Kesar, ah, for God's sake, Kesar, uh, Academy, the one that was shut down and demolished. My Japanese pronunciation is gonna be rubbish, shit, by the way. The one that was shut down and demolished. Oh God, oh shit, that's the oh, oh God, where was something? Oh God, where are we? Um, what happened? Um, where the hell are we? Where are our friends? I miss Yui. Yui, Yui, Yui. Calm down, calm down, Seiko. Don't get so wicked up. Deep breathing. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been staring so hard I could hear my chief te teeth chatter. I've become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight. Which just wrapped my brain around what was happening. To us. I kept telling myself it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare. But no matter how hard I wished for it, I could, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of it all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Hey, 
I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how, how about we try to find a way out of here? A way out? We just can't. We just, we just, oh fuck. I couldn't go back either. We just can't just stand here and do nothing. Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't. And I just don't mean they're stuck. Oh, look. It's like the decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but there might be an entranceway or an emergency exit or something. So it means to get outside. You're right, and it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony here if we keep this up. Okay then, first step is to leave this room. Yes. We've got to get our spirits up after all. It's probably just, not just the two of us in here. Not just the two of us in here, yeah. Yeah. You just have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah, if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's a spirit. Control. I have no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So, desperation. I put on the strongest front I could manage. Oh, there. Character introductions. So, yeah, use the interact with any character and learn more about them. When you're done, exit through the door and to resume play. So, yeah, so. Miss Yui, 24 year old, 11th grade English teacher at Kisagari Academy. Start the semester passing her teaching exam. Is he going to make an impression? Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her undreaded zeal and enthusiasm and infectious, and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant during homeroom for class 2 9, 2 9 and really seems to have connected with the students there. Yoshiki Kinesuma. Kishinuma. A 17 year old student in Kishigari, um. High class two and nine, often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one of past participant events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if it's either is involved. With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part time after school to reward friend on a small apartment where he lives alone. That shit, man. Ayumi. Shinisaki. The 17 year old appointed representative of Kishigari um, High Class 29. Um, 29. 29, sorry. Often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. It generally believes she carries candles and other good, over horror goods of her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Yumi wears his reputation as a master to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals her even to the sheets in its intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out in panic and set in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. Mayu Suzumoto, a 16-year-old student in Kishigari, um, classroom, high classroom, 209. Somehow looks tinier than she actually is, but possesses a big heart and bright personality. Accepts anyone and everyone with open arms, never claimed favourites, which has earned a nearly universal regard amongst her fellow students. Fortunately, due to familiar circumstances, this was Mayu's last day at Kishigari High. She'll be moving shortly and transferring to a new school. Sakuroto meet Morishiki. Morishiki. Morishiki and Morishiki. I don't know. 16-year-old student in Kishigari High Class 2-9. He's been in the sixth theater club of Mayu since middle school and developed a real closeness with her. He finds socialising with anyone else to be tro more troublesome than it's worth, however, so he typically regards his own classmates with indifference. He takes great pride in his family heritage, family heritage and reacts violently if anyone makes fun of his name. The only exception is his nickname is the nickname Mayo's given him, Shig. Uh, Yuka Machida. Satoshi's 14 year old sister. Though she's an 8th grader at Kish Kishigari um, Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. 
In the Machida household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really sharing her childlike behaviour. Despite this, she yearns to grow up often attempting to act older or braver than she is, but sometimes gets her into trouble. Seiko Shinohara A 16-year-old student in Kishikari High Class 2-9 lives very close to Naomi and generally accompanies her to and from school each day. A free spirit, she often says or does things that takes her by surprise, though she also easily forgiven due to her good nature and amiability. Her mother disappeared three years ago, and leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Seiko seems to regard um, Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have longer conversations about their many dreams of the future. Naomi Nakashima a 16-year-old student in Kishigari High Class 29, and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high. She frequently greets Satoshi with, Oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she is intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying and aim for acceptance to medical school. Then Satoshi. Satoshi Machida. A 17-year-old student in Kishigari um, Academy Senior High Class 29, fairly average but popular, known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his firmness, he's very personable, open, and which complements his general sensibility towards others to make him a natural leader. One person to ever challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequently the only person to whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. So there you go, that's that done. Now we head out. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Naomi, let's go. Okay. Right. Ah, here we go. Obviously, read that thing already. Principal Takini Yamahoko. Wait a sec. Another earthquake? No! Is it over? I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. Oh, what's wrong? This hallway looks different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse. Yeah, maybe. Alright, save here. I got this relatively narrow right here, it seems possible, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Yeah, can't do that. There's yellow fluid congealing inside this rusted bucket. What the heck is this? P? Ew, don't say that. If you should encounter any dead ends, be sure to examine as well as the walls or floors nearby that seem peculiar to you. Yeah, the same thing as before. Uh, hey, you want me? Hmm. Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out I forgot all about it. I think I sprained my ankle when I fell. That's not good. Are you okay? I can walk at least, can't ensure I will heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself here. Lead on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. That music is just perfection. Save you here. So, Naomi, 
Hey, you know me. What about that loose wall that we found? Do you think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? I don't know. It seems kind of beat up, but I guess it's pretty solid. Try it. Candle. I could swear I've seen it before. Say, yeah. Shiny shoes. This really was an elementary school, huh? Yeah. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working late night, isn't he? Yep, all those mouths to feed don't come cheap at all, after all. And while Dad's working to put food in them, I'd, I'd get to be the house for I guess you and them are still just little kids, so it's the way we need it. Them, you know. You're pretty amazing, Seigo. High school and mom all rolled into one. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> I just have to get um, back to them, though. I guess you're the same for you two. Your mom's waiting for you two, Naomi. We'll make it back. I know we will. One day, one way or another, we'll get out of this place. You bet. An awful lot of shoes. So we definitely have to go Right, check out. And there is temporary save. Just get some albums. So I should have really put it up. I don't know if I should have put it up there or not. That's the thing. I don't know. I'm worried that's going to collapse. Back down here then. Where the heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely for, or willing, unwilling to open any nominees for any nominees. <sighs> no, good, it won't budge. Didn't feel like I give it at all. I, like I give it. Didn't feel like it gave at all, sorry. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to force it open. Man, we're so close, and yet so far. Well, I guess we'd be better look for another way out. Yeah. The first floor is not good. Maybe there's an emergency exit on the second floor or something. Maybe we should head back up and see. Yeah, maybe. Just beyond this point of piled rubble, there's no way for him. 
Please, wait. You say something to this circle? Hmm. Hmm. It wasn't you. Definitely got a presence of some kind. Those the sound just disappears after that. Let's go for it. Mm, dark room. Very devoid of music. Ah. What's wrong, Nemo? Eh? Look, look over there. Aren't those bones like people bones? What? Why? Why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me take a look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. They've ro they really are somebody's bones. No! Seiko! You two are new victims, are you not? A ghost? A g g ghost? <laughs> Try to do this impersonation role. Who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined, just like you. Confined. Where is he? Where is he? Do you know something about this place? This is a cursed multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Close spaces, perhaps close spaces. You and we, as well, are the unlucky victims of an inescapable abduction. Close spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm censoring numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here too? Are they okay? I wonder. So our friends are in this school too. I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled in these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my Oh my god, that's such good news. Naomi, they're here. We're not alone. That means Machida's here, too. I bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. They're definitely in the school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space, or bring them into this, this space. Even then, escape is now now impossible. At least you're able to die together. Oh. God, is there no way out of here then? You said we're brought here by vengeful spirits. Right. Who are they? Why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives are a captives, nor a means of escape in this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live your days together in the same. Live out your days together in the same space. That alone is a fate worth fighting for. The two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater than working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Oh shit, I fucked up. Ghost. No. Naomi, run, we have to get over here now. Okay. Can I run? No. Are you alright, Seiko? Yeah, but. Yeah. But what the hell was that? A child spirit? It did kind of glow. I've never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? 
Oh, they were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yep. And we were talking to it. I just don't sound any of this. Except there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It, it'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Save it. Every time I do an interaction, I'm saving. I want to go back in there just because. It's a good idea to go back in there. Yeah, it's alright to go back in there now. Alright, check the button again. Due to my size, he's appeared to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Miss Miyasat oh me oh fuck right, I've got to check one. Hang on. Inventory no tag list. No, that's all I want. Right. Due to my size appeared to be the remains of a junior or just senior high school and closer inspection reveals. Yeah, I can't find them channel. Right, save point? Yeah. Save that. I need to go looking What the heck is this? Was this here before? I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? Let's read. Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. I'm going to kill you. Red. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Didn't ask you to. No running in the halls. Any student corner will be severely disciplined. Mm. Doors locked. I made it to you hit all your friends. Eventually they'll kill one another. Yeah, this game could be just is quite disturbing in some regards and some stuff that happens. Um I believe it got censored. I think that's an audio glitch that just happened there. Oh, lovely, save here. Yeah! Oh, oh god, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's horrifying. It's like someone was thrown from the other end of the hallway at human, superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. Smells so meaty. Sorry, are you okay, Naomi? I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. <coughs> Try to do it. Okay. Save the game here. Careful. I'm just saving just every now and then, just in case something happens. So, do a lot of it. Hang on, what does that say? Seems almost like models are sculpted on the walls, no way of opening it, so yeah, it's not impossible to open the door. At the one hour mark, I'll shut the game down because I need to sort some stuff out, so. I'll upload the video. And then you go back, actually. I just noticed something. Yes. I just love that sound effect. It's perfect. Which more games use that kind of sound? <sighs> Another skeleton. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she felt her death from the second floor. Oh, lovely. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Yeah. Yuzu Mikami. Several comic sheets appear on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of her death. We four, we four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Quite enough. I'm in classroom 5A. Everybody's fine, Yuzu. Come join us. That's us go. Oh. 
echo a run that I go for. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Except there really have been a lot of different people brought here. Oh, I got this though. I'm sure of it. <laughs> the nervous laugh. No, and essentially, you're screwed. Ghost? Yep. You wish to leave this place. You must take head heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who have died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. No, 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 I want to check the bodies first. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. Oh my god, it's this. The tendons of my ankles have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hope that you can use this information to keep yourself safe. These partially bleached skeletal uh, across the there's, there's, there's a partially bleached skeletal skeleton sprawled across the floor. Fortunately there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag at this time. Based on the gore, soaked remains of the uniform, and the length of the hair scat across the head, I'd say to say that this is a female student. Yeah. It's pretty horrible. Custodian's closet. The door's fixed to the wall like decoration, it won't open. TV static. Sound design. It's all silent. Perfect. Classroom 5A. Crumpled up a note. Fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe me all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. They killed each other. Skelt remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting on the chair. Close to inspection reveals the student ID name tag. Asuka Kato. No, it looks alright. I'm gonna check it again. It's just pretty complicated just getting this done. We've been playing for an hour now, it's nigh on, so what I'll do is, uh, it's right, so it's the second one, I got, so it's not there, it's the one right next to it, next, near, closer to the note paper, okay. I said I'll save it after this, so... Oh, there we go. Almost got it. Got it. You go. he did. Nice job. Could not be this. Ephemery key. Are you sure what little team I can do here? We made a great team. Right, I'm gonna save here. Temporary save, that's my problem. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go 